Now at a GMA TV exclusive about your children's privacy in a popular Amazon product, the Echo Dot Kids Edition. This morning, an advocacy group is filing a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission saying it violates child online privacy laws and that information you think you deleted is still there. Gio Benitez is here with more. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Michael. Good morning. Yeah, Amazon says it doesn't sell your children's information for advertising or anything else. But this morning, that child advocacy group says that's not enough. The group put Alexa to the test and says in some cases it knows way too much. Alexa, tell me a dinosaur joke. This morning, the Amazon Echo Dot Kids Edition, a personal assistant smart speaker, under fire from consumer advocacy groups. We believe that the privacy policies are confusing and contradictory, and there's no way for parents to meaningfully consent to them. The campaign for a commercial free childhood in a complaint to the Federal Trade Commission raising several privacy concerns. The group with a demonstration showing a child using the Echo Dot's Remember Me feature, asking it to remember her social security number, address, and phone number. Alexa, remember my phone number. And after they say they deleted the recordings two different ways, the data was still there. You told me my phone number is. I was shocked. The fact that Amazon keeps that information is extremely concerning. GMA repeating the experiment with the same results. Alexa, tell me what you remember. Here's what you asked me to remember. My social security number is 12345678 The complaint also alleges it is too difficult to find third party privacy policies. Amazon is sending parents on a wild goose chase um, to find something which in most cases is not even there. Amazon telling GMA the Echo Dot Kids Edition and its parental controls are compliant with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And Senator Ed Markey, the author of that Privacy Protection Act, has now sent a letter to the FTC for an investigation into this issue. But as it stands right now, perhaps the only way to delete your information is to call Amazon customer service on the phone, have them reset the device. You're going to lose everything, but that should do it. But then you use it again and stack it up, and you got to call them back again. And you got to keep uh, calling them. Wow. <laughs> do it once a week, I guess. Wow. <laughs> All right. Hey, Gio. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.